Good morning and welcome to Children's Chapel here at Seminole Heights United Methodist Church. I'm Pastor Tiffania. And I'm Miss Becca. And we are so glad to welcome you to this time of worship just for kids and their families. So go ahead and stand up and sing and dance along with us. job singing and dancing. Now it's time for us to listen to our Bible story. So put on your listening ears and let's watch and listen to the story from the Bible. God's story, Acts. So part of God's story is a book in the Bible called Acts. It's about what happened after Jesus died and came back to life. And it goes like this. Just before Jesus went up to heaven, he told his followers they were going to receive power because he was going to be sending them the Holy Spirit. The disciples didn't understand what that meant at first, but then the Holy Spirit came down to the disciples on a holiday called Pentecost, which is when the early church began. You see, Jesus had also said the disciples would tell the stories about Jesus in Jerusalem, Judea, and Samaria, but also that they would go to the ends of the earth. That would have been impossible for the disciples to do on their own. They needed the Holy Spirit to work through them. The Holy Spirit worked through the disciples as they taught about God's kingdom, shared their food and money with one another, and helped the poor and sick, which were exactly the kind of things Jesus had shown them. Because they were helping people and telling everyone they had met about Jesus, more and more people decided to become followers of Jesus. These early followers yeah. of Jesus were called followers of the way or Christians. Things went well for the early church for a while. But the same religious experts and powerful rulers who arrested Jesus also tried to stop the early church from growing. They didn't like what the disciples were teaching about Jesus, that Jesus was the true Lord and King of the universe. And in Jesus' kingdom, it doesn't matter whether you're rich or poor, man or woman, slave or free, from one country or another. 
Everyone is welcome and everyone is equally loved by God. Soon, things got dangerous. After a man named Stephen was put to death for following Jesus, the early church split up and went into hiding. Some people went to Judea and Samaria, and others went as far as they could possibly go. It was exactly what Jesus said would happen, but it happened in unexpected ways. Like when a Jewish follower of Jesus named Peter had a vision of all kinds of animals and food on the blanket coming down from heaven. Even though Jewish law said not to eat certain things, God told Peter he could eat anything he wanted with whoever he wanted. The Holy Spirit wanted us to know the good news of Jesus was for everyone. No matter who you are, where you live, the color of your skin, or what food you like. Or when Paul, another Jewish man, saw Jesus with his own eyes. Huh? Jesus told him that God had chosen Paul to spread the message of Jesus to the Gentiles, which meant anyone who wasn't Jewish. Paul would go on at least three huge trips to different countries, spending the rest of his life talking about Jesus with everyone he met including religious experts and powerful rulers. Peter and Paul are just two of the people who played a big role in the early church. Their stories are a big deal because they show us what it looked like for Jesus' kingdom to spread into all kinds of different places and cultures. Paul wrote a bunch of letters to small churches all around the world, and some of those letters are part of the Bible we have today. There were also brave, caring women like Lydia and Priscilla, who were important leaders and teachers. The book of Acts is about all sorts of people who seem very different but had one thing in common. They follow Jesus. Anyone who is a Christian has something else in common too. The Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit helped the people in the early church. And the Holy Spirit still helps people who follow Jesus today. Whenever people hear the story of Jesus for the first time, whenever people choose to follow Jesus and join a church community, whenever God gives people special abilities, knowledge, or courage that helps them be more like Jesus, that reminds us of what the Holy Spirit has always done, going all the way back to the early church. And that's a little bit about the story of Acts. So in case you missed it, here's the quick version. God sent Jesus' disciples the Holy Spirit. The early church started growing. Some people tried to stop the early church. Christians had to hide. Peter had a vision. Paul spread the good news. Lydia and Priscilla were leaders. The Holy Spirit still helps people today. And that's a part of God's story. Today's Bible story was about a whole book of the Bible called Acts. It's called Acts because it's a book all about actions. It's about things that people did after Jesus went to be with God. After Jesus had lived and taught and healed people and died and rose again, he went to be with God and his friends who were left started sharing God's love in a lot of different ways. Some of them were healing people just like Jesus did. Some of them were teaching. Some of them were leading each other. They were generous, they shared everything together, the Bible tells us, and they were loving others through their actions, right? And this is an example for us of how we can love one another and how we can show our love for God is through our actions. How we treat each other is just as important as what we believe in. Because when we trust in God and we love God, then we're gonna share God's love with other people, right? It's just gonna be part of who we are and what we do every single day. So I wanna invite you to first of all, remember that God loves you so much and to share God's love with your words and actions, even in small ways, right in your home or at school or with your family. There's so many ways that we can be loving towards one another and share God's love together. You all have done a great job so far. We are going to continue in worship with some more singing and dancing. So you can stand up and sing and dance along with us.
Okay, you all did a good job. Can you put your hands together and bow your heads and pray with me? Dear God, thank you for our time together. Help us to remember the actions you did and to share that with our friends. Help us to show love to our family and friends. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you all for joining us this week. We'll see you again next week.